Chapter 5.6, Parallel and Perpendicular Lines. Your objective for this chapter is to determine whether lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, and to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, in this blank, I want you to explain in your own words what parallel lines are. You should already know what parallel lines are, so just tell me in your own words. I'm not going to give you the answer that goes there. You are going to write it down, and then I'm going to grade it when you turn in your outline. Slope of parallel lines um, is the same. So parallel lines have the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts. So they cross the y-axis at different spots. If they had the same slope and same y-intercept, they would be the same line. Vertical parallel lines have different x-intercepts because vertical lines don't have a y-intercept. So vertical parallel lines have to have different x-intercepts. And then I want you to give an example of the equations of two parallel lines. And you just make them up. So all they have to have is the same slope and different y-intercepts. So let's make the slope be 2, to be 2x plus y-intercept of, I don't know, 7. For the other line, the slope has to be the same, but the y-intercept has to be different, so we'll make it negative 4. How do you know they're parallel? Because they have the same slope, which is 2, but they have different y-intercepts. What if they had the same slope and the same y-intercept? They'd be the same line. So example 1, we want a line that passes through 12-5 and is parallel to the graph y equals 2 thirds x minus 1. They want the equation that represents the line in slope intercept form. So I have a point, and even though you don't actually see it, you have the slope. Because this line is parallel to the line I'm trying to write, my slope is 2 thirds. So same slope. And then we have the point 12, 5. So what we're going to do is we have a point and a slope. We're going to first put this in point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that's going to be y minus 5 equals 2 thirds x minus 12. And then we are going to rewrite it in slope intercept form, which is the same steps every time you distribute y minus 5 equals 2 thirds x minus 3 over 12 4 times, and 2 times 4 is 8. And then you solve for y. So we're going to add 5 to both sides, and we get y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So I have my equation in slope intercept form. Just to be sure, if this is a parallel line, that means the slope should be the same as the slope up here, and it is. So that's a good thing. Guided practice number one, I want you to do this on your own. Um, pause the video, and then when you're ready to see the answer, resume it. Okay, so I have this in point slope form, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to write it in slope intercept form, because I feel like you probably need more practice on that. So that's gonna distribute the two, and you get two x plus six and then solve for y. So we're going to subtract 1 and we get y equals 2x plus 5, which is my equation in slope intercept form, and I am finished. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal slopes. A lot of students try to say different slopes, but they don't they are a special kind of different. They have to be opposite reciprocals. The product of the slopes of perpendicular lines is going to be negative 1. So they want you to give an example of two perpendicular lines. So let's say our slope of one of them is 1 half x plus 3. And let's, so the perpendicular line is going to take this slope and we're going to flip it to over 1 and we're going to change the sign. So negative x plus Three. Perpendicular lines can have the same y-intercept. Then they ask, how do you know they are perpendicular? Well, they're perpendicular because 
they have opposite reciprocal slopes. So we're going to classify our lines in example two as parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And if they're neither, it means that they are either the same line or they are just two random lines. So the first thing you want to do is put them both in slope-intercept form. This one is in slope-intercept form, but this one's not. So we're going to take 4y equals negative 5x plus 12, and we're going to solve for y to put it in slope-intercept form. And we get y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 3. And then the other one is y equals positive 4 fifths x minus 8. So I want you to look at your slopes, negative 5 fourths and positive 5 fifths. They are opposite signs and they are reciprocals of one another, which means they're perpendicular. Another test you can do is to take the slopes and multiply them together and see if you get negative 1. If you do, then your answer, then your slopes are perpendicular slopes. Guide in practice number two, I want you to classify the equations in A as parallel, perpendicular, or neither, and then do the same for B. Resume the video when you're ready. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote them in slope-intercept form for you. If you'll look at your slopes, for A, I have 3 fourths and I have 4 thirds. If you multiply those together, they're obviously not the same, so it's not per parallel. But if you multiply them together, you get positive 1. Since it's not negative 1, A is going to be neither. And then B, if you look at your slopes, you get negative 1 6 and negative 1 6. So that, since that the, that's the same, this is going to be parallel. Now let's write a perpendicular line through a point. So I'm given a point, just like I was before with parallel, but this time I'm given a perpendicular equation, which means my slope of my new equation is going to be flip it 3 over 1 and change the sign, negative. So one more time, the slope of my given equation is positive one-third. The negative reciprocal slope for the perpendicular line is going to be negative three. Now we're going to use point-slope form with the point two, four, and the slope negative three. So it's going to be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And that's y minus 4 equals negative 3 times x minus 2. Now we have to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So you distribute. That's y minus 4 equals negative 3x plus 6. And solve for y. So add 4 to both sides. That's going to be y equals negative 3x plus 10. And that's your equation. Guided practice number 3, I want you to do the same thing except this time your point's 1, 8 and you're perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 1. Resume the video when you're ready to see the solution. Okay, you're going to use the point 1, 8 and then your equation is 2x plus 1 which means your slope of your first of your perpendicular line is 2 so the line you're going to write you're going to flip that 1 half and change the sign negative. So we're going to use this point and this slope. In point slope form, that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So that's going to be y minus 8 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. Now we're going to distribute and we get y minus 8 equals negative 1 half x plus 1 half. And we're going to solve for y, so add 8. We get y equals negative 1 half x plus eight and a half, or nine halves, or six, 17 halves. And that's your answer. Okay, you're gonna have a quiz on this tomorrow. Make sure you come in ready, and also make sure you bring in your completed outline for your participation grade.